But a St. George man who has had COVID-19 for weeks hopes that he can lessen the fear among Utahns. Tonight, he offered Fox 13's Haley Higgins some advice for people do. feeling a little anxious. Haley. Yeah, Bob and Amy, today it marks the 36th day that Mark Jorgensen has been under mandatory quarantine, and he knows firsthand what it's like to have the disease and says that there is not a reason to panic. Mark Jorgensen's souvenir from the Diamond Princess Cruise in Japan, COVID-19. They tested everyone and I came back positive. Nearly six weeks since his first positive test, Mark still waits to hear if he's disease free from his home in St. George. Yet he feels good, great even. I'm fine, have the same, same as I've been ever since this started, I feel completely normal. That's not uncommon for the disease, according to the World Health Organization. For most of us, the symptoms, fever, tiredness, dry cough, they're mild. About 80% recover without needing special treatment. And those who do are typically older with underlying medical problems. So it's not something you want to take lightly, but, but it's, it's something that you're going to survive. It's been a difficult road for Mark. First quarantined on the ship, then at an Air Force base, a hospital, and now at home. What's helped this COVID-19 patient during the process? Being realistic and staying positive. Panicking and worrying and stressing and freaking out is not going to change what is. I mean, if you get it, you'll survive it. And if you practice decent hygiene, it'll it'll improve your odds not to get it. But even if you do get it, you'll be you'll be fine. As for all that panic buying happening across the state, Mark says the toilet paper and bottled water is unnecessary. Live in studio, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah. Thank you, Haley. And if you at home have questions or concerns about the coronavirus, you can call the state hotline. You see the number right there on your screen, 1-800-456-7707.